Hey guys, it's Trina and this is my review of the book When Dimple Met Rishi by Cynthia Menin. This is a 2017 debut novel and it is a YA contemporary romance about two Indian American teenagers who have been set up in an arranged marriage by their parents. This is a romance so you should expect a romantic tone to it, but it just shows these two characters really getting to know each other for who they truly are instead of these expectations that they had in their head about what an arranged marriage would be like. I really enjoyed this book and I gave it five out of five stars as a rating because I just thought it was super cute. I really loved these characters and so much about it which I will get into more depth in my review but since this one is a debut novel I am doing the rundown of my list of debut questions which I've been doing in all my debut reviews so far this year. So first up is why did I pick this book up and did it deliver what marketing said it would? I have said this before but I'm pretty susceptible to book hype and this book was getting a lot of pre-release hype like especially around when the cover came out and everyone was really excited for so I wanted to see what that excitement was about. Did it deliver what it said it would? I think it did. I think this book was really marketed as a YA romance and you know that's what it does. I think that the summary of this book was very fitting for it. So the book definitely was just what it said it was going to be and it, it had all the themes and tropes that you would expect in this genre and it delivered all the feels that I would expect when reading this genre so I thought it definitely delivered and met my expectations. Now I'm going to move into the things I liked and disliked about this book. My favorite thing were these two characters. They were such total opposites and yet they complemented each other so well. Like each of them would challenge the other one in just their ways of thinking and I just really loved seeing their dynamic. Rishi is your really romantic guy. He's really into this idea of an arranged marriage because he's so traditional. And then Dimple is the girl who just wants to break out of some of her family and culture expectations on her. And they just contrasted and yet complemented each other so well. I really really enjoyed reading about these characters. I also really enjoyed the family dynamic in these books and seeing how both of these characters came from very similar backgrounds and yet had such different reactions to it. I also really enjoyed the romance in this book. It's, it has a meet cute at first when these characters meet that you can laugh about. And another thing that I really appreciated about this book, going along with how their culture is portrayed, is how both of these characters face everyday racism in their lives. And that's definitely not something that is easy to read. And they both, again, react to, the, to those situations very, very differently. So there was a ton that I really liked about what this book did, how it portrayed the characters, the things that it was tackling and looking at. At, but there was something that I really kind of disliked about the book as well and that was that I feel like some of the scenes were kind of like especially the transitions between scenes or between feelings were kind of clunky like I remember a couple of scenes this one big thing was going on that the characters were kind of consumed with and concentrating on and then all of a sudden something else just felt inserted in there it just wasn't done very smoothly and all of a sudden we had to switch gears and think about this other thing and these other characters that just seemed to come in out of nowhere. It did not take away from my overall enjoyment of the book but it was something that I noticed when reading like uh, that could use a little bit of an improvement in the future. And that leads me into my next debut question which is does this feel like a debut like this author's first work? And to me the answer to that is yes. It did feel like a debut to me because like I said I definitely think that Manon can work on some of her scene transitions and also going along with this feeling like her first book which I'm not trying to say it was a bad first book or anything but there were a lot of romantic cliches used in this book and I think that if you read a ton of romance you might be like oh this is kind of cliche. I'm not mad at it though. I, I really just don't dislike any romantic trope to be honest. That's something that just doesn't get under my skin. But this is an own voices diverse book with Indian American main characters and we don't have a ton of that and I think it's definitely time that any kind of diverse minority characters get their time to be a cliche, to live in a cliche type of story and not having to always just be this important tough think piece. So that's definitely a pro to this book. So there were a couple of elements in this book that did feel like this was Manon's first time out of the gate writing but by far this book was absolutely not bad. It was not poorly written. She's only going to get better from here and I can't wait to see where she goes. And then that leads me into my next question. Will I read this author's next book? Absolutely, 100% without a doubt. I know that she's got her next two books announced and one of them is following one of the side characters from When Diplomat Met Rishi. So like if this book is an idea of things to come, I'm definitely looking forward to both of her next two announced books. I will definitely be reading them. So this is definitely an author I want to watch and read much more from. And finally, do I recommend this book? 
Absolutely. Unless like you just know I hate contemporary romances. I'm not going to touch it because I know I'm going to hate it. You know, if that's the case, don't read something you know you're going to hate. But I would give a blanket recommendation of this book. I absolutely loved it and I think it's going to have appeal to a lot of readers. So I definitely do recommend it. That's the end of my structured like questions. But there is one other thing that I want to address with this book. I read this book last month and I've already talked about it briefly in my June reading wrap up. I did a Goodreads review on it and since those reviews I started seeing this conversation happening on Twitter where a few people were reading a couple of the scenes in this book and they started saying that Dimple was aggressive or violent or even abusive towards Rishi in the book. And that conversation was popping up a lot in my Twitter feed so I do want to address it. I know exactly what scenes are being referenced here and when I read it I absolutely did not get that impression. I mean you might. The thing in question is that Dimple sometimes punches Rishi like in his arm or in his ribs when she's feeling awkward or uncomfortable and when I read those scenes the only thing that I thought about it was wow that's a really relatable teenage thing because when I was a teenager a lot of my female friends they did that and on Dimple's side I never saw any indication of her actively trying to harm hurt or manipulate Rishi so like I just don't think that this was a portrayal of a toxic relationship. I honestly just thought it was a realistic portrayal of an impulsive teenager. No, you should not always go around punching people when you're uncomfortable in every situation. Adults definitely shouldn't do that, but like she's a teenager and I really didn't think that it was marker of an abusive relationship in this situation. So, you know, if you've heard that about this book that is present, you may not like those things. So, you know, heads up on that. You may not be bothered by them at all. That's all I have to say about When Nipple Met Rishi by Cindy and Manon. I really enjoyed this book. I hope you guys will pick it up. I hope that this review has been helpful as to whether or not you want to pick it up. And if you have already read this one, I would love to discuss it with you in the comments further. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you in the comments. Bye!